today we will discuss a new lecture which is of tunneling and we will discuss it in two parts first part uh, will cover uh, the major uh, construction techniques and the definition and different uh, geological considerations of uh, the land for the tunneling methods etc now uh, in the starting uh we have a definition of tunnel uh tunneling is the process of uh, constructing a passageway which is an underground uh, structure it involves uh, excavating and removing soil rock or other materials to create a void uh, or cavity and then lining the tunnel with a durable material to ensure the stability tunnels are artificial underground passages opened at both ends constructed for different purposes uh, they can be required for highways railways sewerage water supply public utilities and canals necessitated when open excavation of strata becomes uneconomical not only construction cost but for uh, maintenance as well uh, we can uh, we also use tunnels Uh, in some other parts as well as of uh, as uh, of military use etc history the history of tunnel dates back to ancient civilizations with uh, evidence of tunnel construction found in various parts of the world the oldest tunnel was constructed 4000 years ago in an ancient babylon to underpass the bed of river your fates and to establish an underground connection between the royal palace and the temple of job the length of that tunnel was 1 km and it was built with the considerable cross section dimensions of 3.6 m by 4.5 m in the second half of the 20th century with the progress in the development of explosive and equipment underground construction became feasible now coming up to the geological considerations uh, of or of the ground properties be, uh, before constructing any tunnel project the geological considerations are crucial in tunneling project to ensure the stability and safety of the tunnel uh, some considerations are the rock type uh, that which rock we uh, we are dealing with either it is a sedimentary rock either is it is a metamorphic metamorphic rock or etc uh, now the second cons- consideration is that that whether there are uh, there are fractures uh, or faults in the rock if there are fractures and faults in the rock then uh, the tunneling process uh, will be a little bit dangerous and will be dealt with uh, some safety purposes third consideration is of water table and underground uh, water flow Uh, this consideration is also very important because when we are constructing a tunnel uh, the we uh, we first have to check the ground water table whether uh, it is near to our tunnel or it is far to our tunnel because when we are constructing a tunnel uh, when we are digging or uh, we have we have uh, continuing ex- excavation in the uh, mountain or any uh, place either uh, if the water table is near then uh, the water will blush out in the large quantity uh, in the tunnel it will cause serious damages now fourth consideration is that soil and sedimentary deposits uh, if the rock is made up of sediments or soil then there uh, there uh, then the rock or the mountain would need a greater safety uh for uh, the construction of tunnel because uh, sedimentary rocks are the rocks uh, which have been uh, built or which have been uh, formed formed by the uh, collection of sediments from one place to another and they are considered as, considered as weak rocks so uh, these sedimentary deposits are, and soil uh, are uh, also a dangerous place for constructing a tunnel or uh, having a as uh, and uh, for having our safety purposes it is dangerous uh, to construct a tunnel in sedimentary uh, deposit or soil and we would uh, have and we would need greater safety in uh, constructing our tunnel in those sites 
now the fifth uh, consideration is of geological structures uh, this means uh, that either the lava is presence uh, either the presence of lava in the mountain or etc uh, these considerations are important for constructing a uh, for constructing a, a good tunnel or a, a safe tunnel uh, in the field of civil now the engineering projects of a rock generally depend upon not only the matrix matrix generally means the structure formed by the minerals it is a uh, uh, circular or uh, we can have a uh, rectangular then square matrix uh, but also Im imperfections in the structure such as voids uh, not only the matrix are the problem but also the voids uh, pore spaces cracks inclusions grain boundaries and weak particles are the problems pore spaces are largely made up of continuous irregular capillary cracks uh, separating the mineral gains physical continue discontinuities are present in all the rock masses as a result of geological activities uh, introduction of defects into the rock mass due to human activities that the, that alter the properties of the rock material and the last one the mechanical breaks in the rock have zero or low tensile strength increase rock deformability deformability and provide pathways for water to flow now these are some different terminologies uh, in construction in constructing our tunnel uh, we might face off uh, these are some uh, terminologies number one is that uh, crown crown is the top part of a tunnel the uppermost part of the tunnel is called a crown uh, then we have invert uh, the bottom floor uh, this is the bottom floor invert it is called an invert the bottom floor of the tunnel is called invert uh, when we are dealing with a circular tunnel now uh, the second type of uh, the tunnel is a horseshoe tunnel the first type is a circular tunnel then we have a horseshoe tunnel then further on we have vertical walls uh, arch roof tunnel but the most safest among all these tunnels is, the, is a horseshoe tunnel uh, we have uh, the station the distance measured from the portal uh, change then we have wall the side of the tunnel then we have portal the tunnel entrance the entrance of the tunnel is called portal our drift our horizontal excavation when we uh, excavate horizontally into the mountain it is called our drift and then we have spring line the line at which the tunnel wall breaks from sloping outward to sloping inward towards the crown uh, these are some other parts top heading then we have bench then we have bottom uh, these are the terminologies we have discussed uh, in different types of tunnels the choice of tunneling method by uh, be dictated by the choice of tunneling method may be dictated by uh, the choice of uh, excavation carried out in the construction of tunnel is very important because uh, we have to consider many uh, circumstances the first one is the geological and hydrological conditions uh, geological conditions refer to the rock type present in the mountains whether it is a sedimentary rock or, or a metamorphic rock or a weak rock under high stresses lead to squeezing ground conditions now uh, the terminology squeezing ground conditions uh, refers to a geological phenomenon where the surrounding rock or soil exerts a high pressure on the tunnel excavation uh, which makes it a bit uh, uh, unsafe full uh, brittle strong rock high stress conditions may lead to rock bursting rock bursting means uh, the rock will burst out and uh, will be fallen into the tunnel cross section and length of continuous channel uh, we have to consider our choice of excavation uh, by the cross section and length of continuous channel then we have the local experience and time consideration what is the value of time in the project that uh, whether we have uh, a large period of time to con uh, to construct a tunnel or whether we uh, we are in an emergency to construct a tunnel uh, the last one is the limits of surface disturbance and many other factors uh, this is also an important factor that if uh, we have uh, a dam construction going on at a site 
uh, and we have to make a tunnel then these conditions uh, are uh, to be uh, given importance uh, in constructing a tunnel now further moving uh, to the classification of tunneling method based on type of strata uh, we have to made our choice of excavation method for uh, constructing a tunnel based on the uh, type of ground we are facing uh, number one is firm ground which is stable ground and we don't have uh, to uh, give too much consideration or to uh, safety towards the firm ground number second type is a uh, soft ground uh, which is uh, which refers to the soil and other sedimentary uh, rocks strata where uh, we have to give conventional sp uh, support uh, number third type is of running ground uh, running ground refers uh, to the high level presence of uh, the ground water table that if we uh, make our drift in the ground uh, it will uh, cause a blush of water out of it and uh, cause a running ground condition special treatment required before starting excavation now moving further to the tunneling methods uh, rough classification of methods number one type is excavation an excavation process without removing the overlying rock or soil steps excavating remove muck supporting lining ventilation draining first we have to excavate then we have to remove uh, the muck supporting muck supporting uh, generally refers uh, to the uh, carrying out uh, the material uh, which fall uh, in the tunnel during the construction then we have to give lining lining is of uh, concrete uh, uh, usually short crate then we have to give ventilation for the workers then uh, the draining uh, uh, then the draining facility the second uh, type of uh, excavation uh, in the tunneling method is of drill and blast we generally uh, introduce some explosive material in the mountains or the rocky strata and then it will blast and we uh, collect the material outward and then uh, moving further we made a next drift in the uh, construction of tunnel the second type uh, of method we have cut and cover trenching to excavate and construct a tunnel and then backfilling earth over it then we have third type immersed channel lowering prefabricated tunnel elements into a dredged channel and joining them up under water uh, concrete or steel bottom up method the main site is excavated with the ground support as necessary and the tunnel is constructed within the tunnel may be of in situ concrete uh, precast concrete precast arches or corrugated steel arches the trench is then carefully backfilled above the tunnel roof and the uh, surface is restored this is a type of bottom up method then we have a drill and blast method where we introduce explosives in the mountains in types of uh, these uh, structures and then we made the next drift into the mountain and this is a type of cut and cover method Uh, this is a type of uh, hydrological tunnel uh, in the Koffer Dam. This is also an explanation of bottom up method. This is also an explanation of uh, hydrological tunnel. Now top down method. Here side support walls and cab beams are so constructed from ground level typically with slurry walls or secant piling then a shallow excavation allow making the tunnel roof of T cast beams or in situ concrete uh, the surface is then restored except uh, for excess openings this allows early reinstatement uh, of uh, roadways services and other uh, surface features Excavation then take place under the permanent tunnel roof and the base lab is constructed. Uh, in this type of 
uh, excavation method we have uh, less disturbance uh, for the general public because we will uh, we have uh, to continue our work uh, down under uh, the passageways and uh, keep the general public allowed for uh, running their vehicles on the roadway services and other surface features this is a type visual explanation of top down method where uh, the step number one is temporary support walls drilled into the uh, ground then we have to excavate uh, or put out the excavated material then we have to make a, a, a tunnel of precast material then we fill uh, the upper material with the soil and etc these are the piles secant piles which we have uh, discussed earlier <laughs>